the spacecraft that lost contact during re-entry. Space Shuttle Columbia had been in orbit for 16 days. The mission was complete. This was the flight home. On February 1, 2003, Columbia began re-entry over the Pacific. At over 17,000 miles per hour, the shuttle struck the upper atmosphere. Temperatures climbed into the thousands of degrees. Everything appeared normal. Then the data changed. Sensors along the left wing began failing, not all at once, but in sequence. Temperature readings disappeared. Pressure data went silent. Inside the wing, something unseen was happening. During launch, a piece of insulating foam had broken off the external tank. It struck the reinforced carbon-carbon panels on the left wing, the surface designed to survive re-entry heat. The damage wasn't detected in orbit. Superheated plasma was entering the wing where it never should have been. Internal structure weakened. Control surfaces lost integrity. As drag increased on the damaged side, Columbia began to yaw and roll. Flight computers tried to correct forces they could no longer overcome. Telemetry streamed anomalies, then stopped. At 8.59 a.m. Eastern Time, contact was lost. High over Texas, the shuttle broke apart at hypersonic speed. No survivable moment. All seven crew members were lost. The investigation later concluded the outcome was unavoidable once re-entry began. The failure didn't happen that morning. It happened when heat breached a system that depended on exclusion. For more real-world disasters where physics decides the ending, follow Fact Frenzy.